Hey, Solar Ken back with another video on the five reasons to go solar in Texas. If you haven't done so already, please go like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I make content for homeowners who are interested in going solar and willing to learn a little bit more by educating themselves by watching my content. I'm here to help you guys out in whatever way, shape, or form I can to make sure that you're educated before you actually make the decision to go solar. But if you haven't done so already, please go like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And let's get right into this video on the five reasons why you should go solar in Texas. So for number one, there's a zero down payment option. You actually don't have to put anything down, no money out of pocket, which means you can get solar as long as you qualify. What that means is as long as you have a home and you have at least a bill that's over $150, it makes total sense to switch over to solar at zero down. I mean, you don't have to come out of pocket. It saves you anywhere between 20 to 30% of what you're already gonna spend with the utility company anyway. So why wouldn't you wanna go solar if they have the option to go? Again, most homeowners can't go solar because their home doesn't qualify. More mainly, they don't have a great roof for it or they have some other issues when it comes down to credit qualifications. These are things that most homeowners deal with, which makes this program a little bit harder to qualify for some who are looking to go solar. But for those who can qualify for it, it's perfect. And if you do decide to pay for solar out of pocket, then the cash investment is probably gonna be the best option for that homeowner. It's gonna give them a great return on their investment. They decide to sell, they're gonna get the money back out of it when they decide to sell their home. And if they decide to basically come out of pocket cash, they're gonna get a tax credit alongside whatever they would have invested to the utility company would be no longer going back into their, the utility company to be going into their pocket because you don't have to make a monthly payment for your electricity payment anymore. Again, it makes the most sense when you have a solar system as long as you mine it the right way for the right price and, it's, and it makes the most sense. Number two, the deregulated energy grid in Texas. What I mean by that is most residents in Texas have the ability to choose whichever utility company they want to go with. If you want to be with Reliant this quarter or this month or this year, you can. If you want to be with TXU, you can. If you want to be with Green Mountain, you can. If you want to be with a Stream, you can. These are all companies that you can choose from. They're the only thing about it is they're the retail portion of the utility company. There's only four major utility companies in the state of Texas. And there's gonna be your center point, which is gonna be Houston area. Encore, which is gonna be like Dallas and a couple other areas outside of Dallas. You're gonna have the North and South um, Texas Power Grid. Um, that's gonna be in the Northern portion of Texas and then the Southern portion of Texas. Those are gonna be your four major grids. With that being said, all of those companies that I just mentioned like TXU, Reliant, and let's say uh, Green Mountain, those are our retailers. They, they buy power in bulk from those main suppliers and they sell them to their residential customers all around the states. So with that being said, you have the power to choose. But the best part about it is there's companies in Texas that are retailers that actually pay you back for the power that you, you produce. If you decide to go solar, they're gonna pay you back for the dollar for dollar credit, which is called net metering. Net metering is when you actually get paid back one for one for every credit that you actually send back to the utility grid. This is gonna give you the best return on your investment when you decide to go solar. And those two companies are Chariot Energy and Rhythm Energy. Rhythm Energy is gonna be the top dog when it comes down to buying power and selling power back. It's because they buy power and sell power back at the best rate in the state of Texas so far. At one point in time, it was Green Mountain and then Reliant. And now such is only Chariot Energy and Rhythm. Those are the only com two companies that I would recommend you switch over to if you decide to go solar. Reason number three to go solar in Texas. There are larger homes and higher electricity bills. The average home in Texas spends about $175 on average on a monthly basis when it comes down to the utility payment. So what that means is if you're living in a home, newer, older, 
you're gonna have a bill that's somewhere around 175 to 200 dollars on average you're going to be spending somewhere around almost 2100 to 2400 dollars a year in electricity you might as well go solar because if you decide to go solar that monthly payment if you decide to do a finance option or however you decide to purchase your solar it's going to be cheaper than what you're paying to your utility company somewhere in the ballpark of about 30 percent cheaper so if you decide to go solar today you're paying let's say 200 dollars a month you're probably paying like 155 160 with your solar system versus paying the 200 dollars to your utility company it just makes more sense for your home the average price per kilowatt when it comes down to or per kilowatt hour when it comes down to buying it from the utility company is going to be anywhere between nine to 16 cents in the state of texas and when you actually purchase solar it's going to be anywhere between five to 12 cents in the state of texas when you purchase solar so it just makes way more sense than staying with the utility company number four lots of land land lots here are pretty large depending on what jurisdiction you live in you can be living on an acre you can be living on five to ten acres depending on how much land you own out here in the state of texas there's some really huge lots not so much in the city but when you get outside of the city limits you can find some really huge lots of land that actually have enough space which is perfect for solar a lot of homeowners that own land out here and try to get power from the, your, their local supplier get hit with a lot of delivery fees because of the distance that they're getting power delivered to them from. If you decide to go solar and produce your own power, even back it up if you want to put some type of generation to it, but let's just say you're going to install a like ground mounted system, you're going to be able to do that with, you know, with ease. There's no real reason why you can just install a system that's going to produce the maximum amount of power. Being a ground mount, knowing that it's going to have a production of 100% offset. So the average ranch style home that has any type of uh, production or farm animals or uh, ranch style, style living can use anywhere between 18,000 to about 35,000 kilowatt hours on any given year. That can be a lot of power and that average bill could be anywhere between, like I said, $200 a month all the way up to $600 a month on a monthly basis. So if you're spending anywhere between two to three to $400 a month on your average bills for your, your home, why not go solar and offset that 100%? If you can offset your bill 100% by going solar and adding value to your property while owning your own power, makes the most sense. Uh, you can also build carports or gazebos or anything like that to offset any other efficiencies like you wanna hide a boat, you wanna uh, keep the gazebo where you can actually sit under it in the summertime so you can have some type of shading structure. You can do a lot of stuff when you have the land to do these things. Now these are, this is an option for homeowners with land or with an option that they can build on where they can actually use a multi-purpose solar system where they can actually, get, like I said, get the car or get a truck or get a boat out of the elements by putting it under a solar system while also producing power from it. It just makes the most sense. And if it does for you, it, it can be perfect for, for yourself and your home. Another great thing about owning land is that you can lease the land out. If you have a couple acres that you're not really doing anything with, there are power companies or investment companies that are willing to pay you to lease your land out and install a solar system on it now mind you you can get paid for leasing your land out and having a solar farm installed on it which makes the most sense because if you can make a dollar by saving money it just makes it more sense for the homeowner so look into it if you own land definitely here in texas you should probably be looking into trying to lease it out and if you have uh, any questions about that i can pretty much steer you in the right direction maybe we can find a way to actually get that done for you within the reason so give me a shout number five last but not least is solar battery backup storage for natural disasters in texas there can be a hurricane tornado um, windstorm hailstorm and all types of natural disasters that may happen and we are subject to anything and everything in the state of texas if, long, if you live on a coastline like i do in houston dallas gets a lot of tornadoes or hailstorms and really bad winter storms like we had last year last february for an example and power was out because of some issues with the grid there's an opportunity to save money while also locking in and securing your home by having solar power attached to it alongside battery backups
So a battery backup will not power your whole home, but it'll keep the refrigerator, a couple lights, and a couple other things running while you're basically trying to survive whatever natural disaster that's going on at the time. And by having this setup um, on your home, you'll be able to secure yourself and make sure that your family is safe. And there's other options where you can back up a lot more power with a larger system and with multiple batteries. That way you can live like you were before the storm happened or like it like it never happened, to be honest. So those are perfect reasons why you should add a solar system and a battery backup to your home because you got obviously want to make sure that the family's safe. And I'm here to do such. So if you're interested in learning more about how you can own your power, back up power, add value to your home, or anything in that sort, I'd be more than happy to show you how. Go to Solar Kingdom Energy King, book a call with me today. Um, I'd be more than happy, like I said, to give you an example, give you a, shoot you a proposal, showing you your savings or what we, what we can do for you at zero out of pocket cost. Remember, it doesn't cost you anything to go solar. The more you spend, the more you save. My name is Solar Ken the NG King. Please go like me on all my social medias on Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Facebook. If you haven't done so already, like I said, please go like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And my name is Solar Ken the NG King, and I'm out.